Let's start with this cataclysmic L from the Lions. And honestly, I'm glad yeah. because now people can stop telling me how much they love Dan Campbell and how much they think we're the best, you know, we're the best 0-8 team ever. Do I look like I give a shit if we're the best winless team ever? Number one, we're not. We just got a 44 bomb from Jalen Hurts. We just got a 44 bomb from Jalen Hurts, Boston Scott, Jordan Howard. Boston Scott had two touchdowns and Jordan Howard had two touchdowns. Neither of them are the starter or even really the backup. Kenneth Gainwell was getting more touches than anybody not named Miles Sanders before this game. And we just got, f dude, are you kidding me? Look at their receiving. Huh? Dallas Goddard had, they didn't even have to throw the ball against us. Literally. Dallas wow. Goddard was 672 yards. Of course he goes off when we don't have him in fantasy anymore. And you know what? There's nothing like a Sunday morning hangover and watching the Lions get fucking shit on. It's basically a tradition if you are a Lions fan. True. Wake up, you know, had a great day Saturday and then just watch the Lions get their cheese clapped. Although I will say it's so emotionless, dude. We were we were sitting eight of us in B-dubs this morning just watching the Lions get shelled and honestly I mean it's a whole B-dubs full of Lions fans because we're in Michigan. Yeah. And nobody's even like no one's booing, like, cheering, or yeah. saying anything. We're just like all watching like Everyone's wow. just accepted it by now. Like, Here you, we go, baby. You could like, not it, have feelings <laughs> if you're a Lions fan at all. Dude, it was so depressing actually. It was raining out. It was cold. Nobody was saying a damn word. Yeah. We're all just watching the TV. 35 points. 40 yeah. points. 44 to 6. Oh. Yeah, it was ugly. Look at this, bro. How many, dude, how many passes do they have? That is the saddest shit I think I've ever seen. That's ridiculous. Is that 13 receptions total? Can you go up to Jalen Hurts' stats? He's 9 for fucking 14. Oh my he did, god, did, did. are you kidding Jaylen me? Jalen Hurts is 9 for 44. 14. Against the Lions, they scored 44 points. 103 yards. Gardner fucking Minshew Mania came in. Just to clap cheeks, just, just disrespectfully. You didn't even have to put him in. They put him in because they were shelling us so bad there. They were like, haha. This is the equivalent of high school football when you put the special needs kid out there so that he can go get a touchdown and you know everyone lays down and it's, it doesn't matter. They put they literally put Minshew, Minshew is the special needs kid. He literally put Minshew in just to spite us. Like, fuck you. We're going to put in our bench QB to give him some reps. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are we, a, are we a junior varsity football team? Are we a high school football team where people can do this to us? It's literally... That's like when the freshmen so would trash. like scrimmage the JV team. Yeah. Well, congrats, Minshew. Congrats on your make-a-wish 11 yards. Jared Goff, honestly, not the worst game. We're just the Lions, dude. Mm -hmm. We can't like, we can't do anything. DeAndre Swift, 12 for 27. If you can only get 2.2 yards per carry against the Eagles, you're not going to win. Uh, Jamar Jefferson had a touchdown. Anyone heard of that guy? No, you haven't because he's a bum because we're the Lions. TJ Hawkinson, 10 receptions, 89 yards. I mean, th the bigger problem was we don't get anybody involved in anything. We don't do anything. We sat there and got clapped. We actually took this one like a clapping. And you know what? Finally, I'm honestly completely fine with this. You did not just say Goff was okay. You're a fake fan. Goff was okay today. I do not think Goff is ever spectacular, but he was okay today. 350 total yards, 114. But if, dude, yeah, I would say that this is absolutely our worst loss of the season. And I hope that this triggers something in the players as well as the ownership that we need to tank. I get it. We almost beat the Ravens. We almost beat the Vikings. We had a lot of hope. That would have been really cool. Dan Campbell cried. He's such a good guy. Blah, 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 blah. We just got our asses tore up. Bent over and a fat black dildo on our ass from the <laughs> Eagles. 44 to 6. And we took that shit. And honestly, we begged for more. We said, Daddy, don't stop. I want more. Please, please, more milk, more. Something like that. Something to that extent. 44 to 6. I, 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 it was the most depressing Lions game I've watched. And that is saying yeah, a lot. Nothing much you can say about that is saying a lot. I, I guess I don't know. Would you rather watch us get 44 to 6 or would you rather watch us just barely lose to the Vikings? Yeah, I'd rather us just get shelled. Yeah, I think I'd rather Because like get when shelled. we were watching that Ravens game and they fucking just made that literally history field goal yeah. for the win. Oh, that was a that's when you like get pissed. You're I'm like, just glad fuck. that everyone can equally give up hope. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, tank! Right, right. It's tank time, baby. Here's what we're going to do. We're taking Kayvon Thibodeau. If we get the one pick, I think the Lions in very Lions fashion might accidentally win two or three games and then we would get shit on. In very Lions fashion, we may win two, three games and then I think the Jaguars might end up getting the first pick again. That'd be pretty sad. But if we don't and we effectively tank as we should, I would like Kayvon Thibodeau. If we can't get him, we take Aiden Hutchinson, who's an absolute demon on the University of Michigan. Got to watch that firsthand yesterday. Um, And then the year after that, Jay Jared Goff's contract is done. We sign a ton of really good free agents and we draft a quarterback. And then the rebuild begins, is truly. It, when you get your place in the draft, is it solely on wins and losses? Or is there some yeah, little... it's not a lottery like the NBA. The NBA is a lottery. Like the 10 worst teams have a chance at right. getting first, second, third. Okay. And it's based on how horrible you are. In the NFL, you genuinely just get it. The it's, shittiest team will get the first pick. It's just so then, what if like they both have the same record? Then it's just like. I think they go strength of schedule. Chad, is that correct? Do okay. they check strength of schedule next? And whoever has the easier strength of schedule would be the first pick meaning they were worse 
Right. Kenneth Walker to the Lions. I wouldn't even want to want to do that to him. Yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Kenneth Walker should get Heisman. He's a god. I hope he goes somewhere sunny and uh, yeah. with a good football team like Tampa Bay. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Tampa Bay really needs another running back, but yes, it's strength the schedule. Yeah, that makes most sense. Okay. Well, the Lions, in very Lions fashion, get their cheeks clapped. Tank for Thibodeau. Tank for Thibodeau. Just kidding. We're really tanking for Spencer Rattler. He's a god among men, if you didn't know. All right. Hey, that's it for the Lions. Let's, uh, let's move on to a different game here.